Hey guys, this is Heather. All right, today I am going to show you a recipe from a brand new cookbook by a friend of mine, Jill Nissano. She is called The Veggie Queen, and she has written a brand new book in her vegan pressure cooker wisdom called Vegan Under Pressure. And so we're gonna make a recipe from that book called Borscht with a lemon twist and greens. It sounds fantastic. For those of you who have not made borscht before or don't know what it is, it involves beets. And as a lovely synchronicity this week, these beets came in my CSA farm share bag. So I'm really excited to use them in this soup and see what Jill has cooked up for us. It also uses the greens. Mine are getting a little bit wilty because my beets have been sitting for a few days in the fridge, but they'll still be awesome. They'll still be wonderful in this soup. So let's get started. Now I'm gonna be putting everything and making our soup in my brand new electric pressure cooker, which is gonna be wonderful. But this recipe will work just fine if you wanna make it as a regular soup in a pot. It'll just take longer. And I'm gonna show you how the magic works with this, which is what Jill has been telling me for years, telling me to get a pressure cooker. And I've only just now known that I was staying in one place long enough to actually go ahead and buy one. Inside the pressure cooker is this inner bowl, which looks just like a rice cooker, and it's pretty fantastic. Doubles as a gong. And we're gonna start by sauteing the onion and carrot, which is cool because I've not yet used the saute function on my pressure cooker. And like me, Jill uses minimal oil, but you can add a little bit of oil if you like. So this is on. If I hit menu, I can go low pressure, high pressure, browning, saute. While that sautés, I'm going to work on the cabbage and beets. Jill is so sweet in her recipe. She's a registered dietitian as well as a chef and pressure cooking expert. And she said you can use green or red cabbage, but red has more powerful antioxidants. And I'm sure it looks better in this borscht with the beets because it's gonna get purple anyway. You can hear that simmering in there now. To cut the beets when they have tops on them, what I do is just cut the tops off, set them aside, they're gonna go in later, and then I can work on the beets as they are. So just take the peel off and then chop them up. So into the pot goes the cabbage and the beets and some herbs. There's bay leaves, caraway seeds, and some dill, which I think is pretty special. Some red lentils for protein. Some vegetable stock. I'm using water and some herbamir, which is essentially like a bouillon cube as my vegetable stock. And now comes the exciting part where we put the lid on, lock it. I'm going to now put this up to high pressure for eight minutes and hit start. And this is gonna slowly come up to pressure. I'll know because there will be some steam coming out of this pressure valve here. The great part is because this is an electric pressure cooker, it's gonna take care of everything on its own. So I can just leave this to cook and do something else while it's doing all the work. So I can, you know, clean up the mess that I've made so far. And I can wash and chop up these beautiful beet greens that are gonna go into the soup once it's cooked. If you don't get greens with your beets, that is unfortunate for you. But you can use Swiss chard or kale or collard greens if you like. Swiss chard will be the closest. You can often find it with rainbow stalks so that it actually looks kind of like these beet greens here. It's not exactly eight minutes later because I had to wait for this to come down from pressure naturally. There is a quick release, but Jill said for this recipe to leave it to come down naturally. So what happens is when that happens, all of the steam will come out of here eventually. And when you can open this easily, it's time to take it out. So just look in here and fish out the bay leaves. They should be sitting on top and then add your lemon zest and your lemon juice and then puree. Very easy if you have an immersion blender. I'm gonna use my other fancy toy and blend it in the blend tech so it gets super smooth. 
And then to serve, you just take some of these beet greens that you washed and chopped up earlier, put them in a bowl, pour some of this gorgeous looking red borscht on top. And always need a garnish. Jill suggests fresh parsley, dill, or chives. Jill also suggests using some non-dairy yogurt as a garnish and you just swirl it in. It looks beautiful. I think some pureed avocado would be phenomenal as well. But I'm just gonna take a taste like this as soon as it cools off, of course. I know I'm gonna burn my tongue, but I can't help it. Mmm, that is so good. The lemon is perfect. I love that little twist. Well, well done, Jill. The borscht with a lemon twist and greens is fantastic. Plus, you got me using a pressure cooker after all these years, and I am never going back. No matter where I move, no matter how many times I move, this thing is coming with me. <laughs> so thank you, Jill, for the amazing recipe. If you guys want to see more of Jill Nusano, the Veggie Queen, she has her own website at theveggiequeen.com. And this recipe is out of her brand new cookbook, Vegan Under Pressure. You can find that at any major bookstore or online reseller. I'll have a link down below. If anyone has any questions for Jill about this recipe or about pressure cooking vegan foods, leave them down below in the comment box. Give a thumbs up if you like this recipe and be sure to subscribe to my channel for new updates every week with vegan recipes, nutrition tips, and motivation. Thanks, enjoy your borscht. I'll see you again soon, bye.